Hello public, this is Frank Rolando. So I'm at Twin Cities Mobile Home Park trying to hang on to my home. And I have been hit with a barrage of letters and an attempt to force me from my home and steal my home from me, which I believe they're trying to turn into rentals and they don't wanna pay for houses that they wanna steal from the residents. So today they said that uh -huh, this thing right here, this siding, which has been here, is inappropriate. Now you have to understand that I have a no trespassing sign right here, okay? This is a no trespassing sign. So technically, now I want you to see that there's no way to see this. There's no way to see this from out here. And I want you to see, this is my neighbor's yard. You see the piece of plywood? You see all the debris? I want you all to see this. You see all this, right? This is what's bothering, this is my home. I want you to see this and the two boards. Okay, I want you to see that. This is, by the way, um, May 21st, May 21st at about 5.30 home. I come home to this. This is the first time. I want you to see all this, see this? They won't write them up for this, okay? So I wanna make a documentation to show this to my attorney and uh, show the abuse by Twin Cities Mobile Home Park why you shouldn't buy a home in Twin Cities. Oh, and this is my neighbor who's really super curious about my business. He can't go in the house and mind his own business. How you doing, neighbor? Man. Now maybe I'll take some more video. <laughs> so, this is my neighbor who can't mind his own business, who's got six cars in his yard. I want y'all to see all these cars. There was six of them. Some of them without tags. That don't get rode up. Hi neighbor, how you doing? You just... Yeah, so he's probably the one that called the office to get me rode up for no reason at all. So anyhow, I told you, we're going to need a lawyer now. <laughs> so he just, uh, Mr. Neighbor, who uh, is working for the redevelopment firm that's redeveloping the trailers. On trailer 60, about two months ago, they came right up to me, the Hispanic crew, and said, we, want, we can't wait for you to leave your trailer. Now, it's not for sale. So it's basically a criminal organization. They're harassing me to take my home. They have sent all kinds of fake letters saying it was flooded out. They're harassing me. I almost got ran over by a pickup truck about two week, about a week ago. So my life's in danger and they're trying to take my home. They're more, they want to take my home and force me out. So I'm documenting all the harassment. All right, so here's the letter. This is the letter. It says, we, as we requested, compliance notice is hereby giving that you are in violation of certain previous, <laughs> previous agreed upon, and I did not agree upon this in my lease when we visited your home. They have, so um, it is our hope you'll choose to comply. Failure to comply, what is noted here may result in legal response, legal response, okay? Process for eviction instituted against you. If that's happened, you are liable for court costs and attorney fees, okay? So this is their attempt. They can determine all kinds of things they can dream up that they say is upon the lease, but I own my home. So this is an eviction process to steal my home based on something that is petty. It is petty harassment. Twin Cities Mobile Home Park. Please do not rent there. Please do not buy homes because you'll regret it. But don't worry. All, and no offense to the Latin community, but it is, it is, we are noticing that it is Latins, 
moving in and whites and other people are moving out. No offense, but this it's all I mean it's I have the three empty trailers that I recorded where people were pushed out. Whole bunches of vehicles are parked here like a rental agreement, okay? Rentals are not supposed to happen in Pinellas County. These are my neighbors, okay? So these guys are out to steal my home. This thing should not be an issue. It was a bigger water heater installed by my uncle five years ago. Five years ago. This is the first time that I've gotten notice about this. I usually try to fix things. They're calling it the second. So they can just, it is running Lakeshore Community, Twin Cities Mobile Home Park is a criminal organization that is running it. They are stealing my home so they can re redevelop it and rent the trailer out. They want to steal my trailer. I cannot jump through the hoops that they are doing. Meanwhile, I've had issues of damage done to my trailer. While I'm gone, I come back and my home is damaged. I come back, roof leaks have been a big issue. 